Before we jump into this week's wrap-up, I need to announce a small break in the usual schedule during the holiday period. While we'll try to have some reviews banked up to keep our fans busy, I'll be on a holiday break from the 23rd till the 28th, and as such we'll be unable to produce a wrap-up on the following Friday. These are generally the highlight of my week, so I'll try to make sure the following week makes up for it. And heck, our top 10 for 2011 is only just around the corner too. For now, let's jump into the Friday news wrap-up for the 16th of December 2011. Tis the season, and while the App Store is flooded with seasonal-themed games, gamers who have already invested in some of the best games out there can look forward to some juicy and fun updates to their collection to keep in the Christmas spirit. Fans of Jetpack Joyride can now pick up a Santa suit for Barry, along with two new jetpacks to add to your collection. The delectably incredible and eye-popping title Sprinkle now also sports a wintry theme, along with iCloud support and Xperia Play controls for Android users. The game bakers have also updated squids to include new seasonal hats for your turn-based needs. And lastly, Jelly Defense has packed in new levels, another endless mode, updated soundtrack, and fixes and balance adjustments. That's just a handful of what's currently out there, so don't forget to check your apps for updates if you're after a bit more bang for your buck during the holidays. It's not often we get to toot the gaming as art hornet app spy, not for a lack of experimental and provoking titles on the app store, but more because we're often too busy to stop and smell the virtual roses as it were. However, if you happen to find your way out to Singapore anytime soon, stop off at the Maritime Experiential Museum to check out their Let's Create Pottery exhibit. Better still, grab the game for yourself and enjoy its relaxing and creative gameplay. Despite a few bumps, Rodeo Games' turn-based tactical shooter Hunters Episode 1 was a great game with oodles of potential squandered by the lack of a solid campaign to keep you hooked on your revolving squad of badasses. In a recent PR missive, co-founder Ben Murch has said that their sequel will include a full campaign mode, with players following a hero named Caius Black. To celebrate the announcement, Episode 1 is currently on special for 99 cents over the weekend. A link to our review is in the description. While not everyone thinks of MechWarrior as a real-time strategy, one of the earliest video games for FASA's franchise holds the distinction as the prototype for what eventually became Dune 2, a gaming milestone for the PC. Tactics have been at the core of many MechWarrior games, and so it's no surprise to see developer Persona Studios dubbing the latest revival of the series Tactical Command. Touting complex missions, 30 mechs with accompanying weaponry, the iOS release of the game is set for 2012. Vague, I know, but definitely worth keeping an eye on. You may have already forgotten about it by now, but Frontier Developments revealed their intention to bring their incredibly fun WiiWare title Lost Winds to iOS later this year. While it's not certain whether we'll have it by the end of the year, what we can say is that it looks perfectly at home on iOS devices, and looks an absolute treat to play as well. Don't forget to pick up your jaws when the video ends. As a wee lad, the only games that infuriated me more than Impossible Mission 2 were the dizzy series of puzzle platformers from Codemasters. Yet, without fail, as each one was made available, I'd beat my brow against its sometimes obtuse puzzles, trying to carry and combine a limited set of items while avoiding death with a limited amount of lives. It was a veritable nightmare, and seeing a revival of the fourth title Prince of the Yoke Folk for iOS was like Jaws popping up in the Bahamas. Frightening and confusing all at the same time. Although time hasn't been entirely kind to the small, anthropomorphic eggy hero, Dizzy hasn't just been thrown out to the wild without considering modern gamers and modern sensibilities. Gone are the lives replaced with respawning near where you failed. Also, it could just be me, but it also feels like some of the puzzles have been reordered to streamline the game into something a bit more logical. Sadly, the controls leave a lot more to be desired, as Dizzy's clunky, slow movement and jumping can place you in peril. While the interface also feels outmoded, requiring players to be exactly on top of objects, lest you open up your inventory instead. If you enjoy your platform puzzlers, then you'll appreciate the trip down memory lane. But while there are concessions to the modern gamer in Prince of the Yoke Folk, it's going to be less appealing to those without rose-tinted glasses. While it's often unsaid, I thought I should caveat this game of the week before you grab your pitchforks and torches and hang me for not giving the award to another game. Regardless of the week of releases, this award goes to the best game we've reviewed since the last wrap-up, and we can't be blamed for the industry being so stuck on Thursday as their primary release day. 
So with that said, the thumbs up goes to Sonic CD. And honestly, why shouldn't it? One thing the iOS platform has been craving is a broader selection of solid platformers, and while there are some decent titles out there, Sonic CD is, in almost every respect, in a completely different league altogether. Rebuilt from the ground up, this isn't an emulation. It's a purpose-designed engine made to recreate one of the most fascinating entries in the Sonic series, and a relatively little played one at that. Extras such as selectable soundtracks and unlockable Tales mode and others clinch this as a must-have whether you own an iPad, iPhone or iPod Touch if you love your platformers. For those wondering where our GTA 3 review is, you'll be happy to know we'll have something for you at the beginning of the week along with all the other amazing releases that have dropped this close to Christmas. If you want to keep on top of our reviews, news and features, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and feel free to like and subscribe on YouTube. I'm sure you are all having a busy weekend yourselves, so have fun. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.